there guys, my name is Curtis Shadong Stubborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to another Halloween update. Now today, I'm going to be deciding and predicting what I think will be coming to Scarefest 2020, the Halloween event, the premier Halloween event at the Alton Towers Resort. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, social media, and make sure you keep getting your questions in for our next Q&A to celebrate 2,000 subscribers. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, let's get into this video. So this is going to be quite a long one. So get some popcorn, get your drinks, get your Coke. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. So Scarefest, if you didn't, for those of you who are new or part of the general public and are not enthusiasts and don't know about this event, Alton Tower Resort, uh, which is one of the premier UK theme parks uh, in this country, have a premier Halloween event to go with it. And that Halloween event is Scarefest. Now, Alton Tower Scarefest uh, is the main Halloween event and it's containing a good mixed balance of the family fun but also the terrifying mazes. Now, with the mazes, you do have to pay extra. Uh, however, the prices weren't too bad for the mazes last year, so I think it will be the same again this year. So, um, obviously, like I said at the beginning, today's video is all about predicting what could they add or change compared to last year's event for this year's event. Now, to sort of go over what I think could be happening with the 2020 event, we've got to look at la last year's event, pretty much, the 2019 event. Now, going over the mazes and all the stuff that was in for 2019, uh, we had five main sort of mazes. So you had the new additions for 2019. So you had the brand new family thrill pirate maze called Darkest Depths. Now, that replaced the welcoming be chosen that was there for a couple of years uh, in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. Uh, you also had the Attic Terror of the Towers. That was a redevelopment of the Terror of the Towers. It had been there for numerous years. It took a year off and it came back in 2019 as the Attic Terror of the Towers. Back in 2018, they revealed Project 42. That came back for another season. And also there for another season was Altonville Mine Tours, The Legend of the Skin Snatchers that came in in 2016 to replace the haunting of Molly Crow. And also Subspecies The End Games, which was a sewer game challenge themed horror maze which was one of the most extreme mazes that Alton Towers have done and that opened back in 2015. Now in terms of the family fun you had Freaky Fun Zone on the front lawns with the, the usual characters that have been there for years Franklin, Patch, Phil uh, and people like that. You got the Freaky Fun Squad so you had like the stage area uh, in Fountain Square where you had these performances going off. You had the CBB's Land Monsters Ball you also had the Alton Ancestors, so they start, they're like a group that do like a flash bob every half an hour. Uh, they start in Tower Street and then at a certain point they go over to Jewel and Gloomy Ward and start interacting with guests over there. So it's a good in, it's a good piece of entertainment for Alton Towers. Now, speaking about the family fun, uh, I predict these will all return in 2020. So the Alton Ancestors, the Freaky Fun Zone, the Freaky Fun Squad, the Monsters Ball and CBB's Line. I think all four of them will return, in my opinion, for 2020. And I think we're going to see some new things. So stay tuned a little bit to discuss more about that. But let's go on then about my main predictions about the 2020 event changes. So let's start off with brand new things. Now I spoke about things returning in terms of the family fun, and I'm going to discuss about mazes returning in a little bit. But let's start off with new things. So in terms of new things, I think we're going to see new a new family maze and Alton Towers Dungeon Lates. Now, of course, let's start with the Dungeon Lates. So uh, with, the, with the dungeons, they like to do late events or they like to do extreme events for higher age ratings at Halloween. Um, and we've we've sort of seen that with the, with the York Dungeon, with London Dungeon, Edinburgh, Berlin. Uh, we've seen that with all the dungeons. And I think Alton Towers Dungeon may go one step further than they did last year with the dungeon. Now, of course, the dungeon was the new attraction for last year. For those of you who don't know, the Alton Towers Dungeon is pretty much like the, the other dungeons. It's got the, 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 the actor-led scenes and it's got the boat ride as well. And it reused the old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory ride, for those of you who have been there for Alton Towers for a good number of years. Charlie is gone, it's been replaced with the dungeon. I don't think it's a permanent addition, like I spoke about in previous videos, but I think that the dungeon will be there for now. Um, and 
you know that in 2019, looking at Scarefest last year, in 2019, the dungeon sort of promised more laughs and screams inside the dungeons for Halloween. We had some more stuff on the front in the in the uh, in the square, uh, but we also had some more laughs and screams really. Uh, but I think they're going to take it a step further in 2020. I think they're going to include more laughs, more screams, and I think they're also p potentially going to do some lights now. I would like to see them do some lates, I'd like to see them do some extreme versions for the 18 plus so the scenes get scarier, the strobe lightings get strobier, the acting gets more scary, the boat ride has some added stuff into it like blood splatters when like there's a projection, a projected mapping, you know, beheading, maybe there's like a blood squirt or something or the blood gets more heavy, um, maybe some live actors during the boat ride so just little things like that to make it more extreme at a certain time if you know what i mean uh so that's one thing they could do now another thing is a brand new family maze now i think this will be sort of replacing the slot that house of monsters replaces um darkest depths in mutiny bay is kind of that replacement already but i see it's more of a family thrill rather than a pure family maze so I'd like to see a brand new pure 100% family maze where it's just a little jump scare here and there but it's mainly themed walkthrough experiences and challenges similar to what House of Monsters did. And I'd like to see this one go in the former site of Nina's Science Lab. Now we've been now that has been closed for a couple of years now. There's been talk of an escape room possibly going in that site uh, in the near future. However, I've not really heard anything from that or seen anything from that. So I think that's not true. I think that they're just, you know, that we don't know what's planned for that site yet. But for now, at least, I'd like, to, even if it's just for one year, I'd like to see some kind of new family maze where it goes on the same kind of uh, principle as House of Monsters, where there's challenges to do puzzles to complete to escape each room. I like that escape room idea to be fair. I like like a, like a, a family scare room experience kind of thing, but themed to CBBS of course. Uh, so maybe like a general CBBS theme, maybe the CBBS Bugs Halloween trick or treat party or something. Something on the lines of that. So I'd like to see that come into the Nina Science Lab building for now until they get a permanent replacement for the attraction. Uh, now, of course, in terms of other things I'd like to see, I think I'd, I'd like to see the garden in a new light. Now, we spoke about that in a previous Halloween update, the fact that there's speculation going around that the gardens um, are going to be represented in a brand new light, according to a news article um, local to the area. Now, um, in ter and I've spoken about that in that video, but in terms of a summary of what I'd like to see, I'd like to see maybe some lighting, some live actors around, just to make it a like a haunted gardens type thing. So I think that's a, a really nice idea for them to do. It would definitely improve the acting quality uh, of the of the gardens and improve the acting quality of Alton Towers as well. Finally, then. I think one of the main things we'll see for next year is a replacement thrill maze. Now, this is either for subspecies or Altonville Mine Tours. Now, I've got the hint that this year will be the last year for one of those two mazes. Now, of course, subspecies, the end games, it was one of the most extreme mazes that they've ever done when it came in in 2015. 2019, from the reviews, I, from some of the reviews I saw, I felt like it lacked compared to recent years, and I feel like subspecies has had its time. But I do believe that subspecies may possibly come back for 2020. And I think that maybe is last year before it goes out for another new maze. Same with Altonville Mine Tours, to be fair. Even though it's operated a year less than subspecies, this replaced the Haunted of Molly Crow. This themed around this, this mine and the legend of the skin snatchers, where they snatch a skin. Um... And it's quite a it's quite a terrifying maze from what I've heard from reviews. So I, I, I would like both of them to come back for this year at least, so I can experience both of them. But I think that maybe one of them will go this year and get replaced by a new one, as well as the new family maze that I think will go down in CBB's land. So that's sort of discussing then my predictions. So overall, just to you know summarise everything, I think we're going to see a brand new thrill maze replacing either subspecies or Altonville Mine Tours. We're going to see a new family maze in the Nina Science Lab building in CBeebies Land. I think we're going to see the gardens represented in a brand new light, whichever way we don't know. But I think the speculation does suggest the gardens are going to have some kind of massive transformation over Halloween. And I also feel like uh, we're going to see those dungeon lates and also more and more improvements 
uh, with inside the dungeons as well. So live actors in the boat ride in specific parts of it to do jump scares while they're travelling in this boat ride. You know, it's it's quite a slow boat ride, which kind of helps as well because you're sort of going slowly around that corner and then bah, you know you get a live actor in your face. So uh, it'd be very interesting. Uh, so there we go, so that's just my predictions. Comment down below what your predictions are, guys, because I want to hear your predictions. I want to reply to your predictions and your thoughts and opinions on what could be going down for Scarefest. Obviously, in general, with the park as well as the event, I think one of the main things that's going to go down is, of course, the big elephant in the room, and that is social distancing measures. I think there'll be at least two metre gaps in the queues for the maze. I think the queues for the mazes won't be like temporary silver bars. I think they're going to be permanent queue fences uh, and they're going to have the two meters distancing apart so I think the queues are going to the queue actual queue lines are going to be longer to accumulate for this social distancing rule uh, so you won't have as many people sort of queuing outside of the fence and sort of queuing around the back of the courtyard or something uh, so I think social distancing measures is something massive we know the park have already put loads of hand sanitizers around the park so I think that's going to continue going into next year and possibly even 2022 I don't want to stretch it too much but I think that may be the case uh, obviously you guys know why they're going to do this social distancing and the hand sanitizers obviously it's the big C uh, the big COVID-19 um, but I think it's got to be done. I think if they are going to reopen by September, uh, by the end of the summer into September and bring back this uh, Halloween event again this year, I think that the, that is the main elef elephant in the room and they're going to, you know, accumulate for all of that. So it should be quite interesting to see how they, how else they're going to implement those rules as well as the two main things that I talked about. Uh, but in terms of the actual Scarefest event, uh, I think that a couple of new mazes, new gardens, uh, improvements for Halloween and dungeon lates and some more stuff done to the dungeons as well as added theming around the park. I think that's the main sort of prediction roundup kind of. Uh, so we'll stay tuned to see what if any information gets released over the next few months. Obviously, like I said, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this, guys. Um, and I'll reply to every single comment. You know I do. And for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Halloween update. My name is Coast Job. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep living the Coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. I'm not some day.